Hello friends, Rita Lawrence here and I'm covering today my review and personal experiences from The Science of Getting Rich. Now I started this book study and review when my mentor recommended it, Robert Hollis. He actually has a course called Mastering the Science of Getting Rich and I did that first and that is what inspired in me to turn around and bring this to you because it changed my life in so many ways. So let's get into it. The book was wrote in the 1900s by Wallace Waddles. There are several philosophers, mathematicians, you know, different people that, that contributed to this information. And I have actually gone back and read some of their information too. And it's really, it's really helped me gain a, an understanding and an awareness of where this knowledge and this wisdom comes from. So you can look at all that yourself. There's a link below for a download of the book, the audio, and a movie. Please go to that link and download it so that you can go through this information yourself because I do believe that, that it is important for you to see these words yourself because this goes beyond what we see, this goes beyond the physical. You know, if you're somebody that believes in mind, body, spirit awareness, that, that there is more to life basically than what we see, you absolutely wanna read this book. So chapter one is called The Right to Be Rich. So the first off, you know, the thing that comes to my mind is the quote, well, money can't buy happiness, right? Well, it can if you give it away, and it can if you feed hungry, starving, homeless children with it. So there's always a need for more money. You know, I could totally be satisfied right now. I could, you know, we're not hurting, but there is a whole world that is hurting out there. That is a whole world, there's a whole world, and specifically for my heart, children that need help, that need us to step out of our comfort zone and, you know, build a legacy and a community of givers and, and you know, light workers, people that, again, see more than the physical and that are willing to give their time even if it's 15, 20 minutes a day, to growing their finances so that they can contribute to others and contribute to the world in a bigger way than ever imagined. I mean, that's really what's happening here with this. It's a movement. This is a movement. I've always called it a mission, you know, Journey to Freedom and my Freedom Mastery Group. I've always called it a mission, but, you know, honestly, it's a movement. Recently, I've connected with my mentor in a network marketing company, and I, I have to admit, he says the same thing, um, talks about the, you know, the movement, and it's true, because the world is hurting. You know, if we look around all the time, even just the slightest bit of news, of Facebook, of, of newspapers, of, of commercials, you will see the hurting. You will see the pain, and if you don't already discern that, if you cannot see that yet, Please read this book because it will absolutely open paradigms and open an awareness for you that is bigger than you ever imagined, that is more than I ever even knew was possible. I'll just put it that way. So the first chapter here talks a lot about mind, body, and soul, right? It talks about the balance of those areas, that there's not one that's more important than the other, that they're all just as important in balancing and growing. Um, it also talks about the, the, I mean, this is big, the object of life. I mean, what is the object of life? What is life all about? What are we here for? And this book says that the object of all life is development. And everything that lives has an inalienable right to all the development it is capable of attaining. So to me, that just, I see this vision of us, you know, women, moms getting pregnant or the man, you know, impregnating the woman, just the, the miracle that is of birth, of, of um, pregnancy and birth and development and growing a human being within us. But then, you know, the baby's born and, and they grow and they don't stop growing. And though trials and struggles they face, though they fall and trip and, and get hurt, they get up and they keep going and learning and growing. And there's no stopping them. And it's the biggest inspiration to me as a parent and as a mom to continue growing my own self and to continue growing and giving back to myself, advancing myself, being all I can be, being as successful as I can 
so that then I can turn around and give that back to my kids and provide for my family and supplement my husband's retirement, um, contribute to the, you know, the, the charities that I want to contribute to. Um, I'm, I just don't want to be a mediocre mom and a mediocre a human being. I want to be a giver. I want to give and contribute. I know that I've been called. And if you're here watching this, then you've also been called. Then you're also called to be a voice and a vessel of light and love and hope to the world. I believe that. Um, I This chapter also talks about uh, the fact that, you know, money gives us things that then help us to carry on our calling, right? Like I've been a professional photographer for many years, but without the right equipment, I wouldn't be able to produce the you know amazing images that come from my craft um, and my gift. So I have to have money to buy the equipment. Um, you know, the same for a writer. You gotta publish your book. You gotta have, you know, somebody read the content and make sure that it's right and, you know, put it together in a beautiful way. So there's always a need for money. There's always a need for more finances. And I wanna inspire you to, to, to seek to, to balance the mind, body, spirit in your life so that you can find success personally, you know, in a personal level for you first and then success overflows to other areas you know you might be working on a physical transformation but let me tell you that success in other areas will come as well because of the energy and the focus that you're putting into that it will overflow into other areas it says here that real life means the complete expression of all that man can give forth through body mind and soul so you know working on each area is so vital and key to achieving the success and the fulfillment that we're looking for. It also really talks, it really, really brings out the point and the fact that to live fully in soul, man must have love, and love is denied expression by poverty. One more statement. A man's highest happiness is found in the bestowal of benefits of those he loves. Love finds its most natural and spontaneous expression in giving. Everybody wants to give to their children. And being in poverty limits giving to our children, limits giving to ourselves, limits contributing to the world around us, and is holds us back. Poverty is a limit. And I'm, a, I'm all about possibility, and I'm all about what is possible. And I know that what is possible for me is possible for you. I know that what is possible for my mentor is possible for me and you. So I'm simply here sharing this information and sharing the wisdom and the value and just my personal experiences that I'm gaining from this. Um, you know, if three of the big things I got out of this chapter was build you, build something of your own. You know, when it comes to finances, my mentor is really, really big about um, bringing, bringing you to the awareness that you need multiple sources of income, ideally, um, not having your eggs all in one basket, and that ultimately you're writing your own check. And then learn and share wisdom. You know, that's what this group is all about, Journey to Freedom. It is about sharing wisdom. It is about sharing, um, you know, gifts that are intangible. You know, I call it a gift giving group. And if you haven't already gotten your gift, please, um, it's below this video. There's a link at the bottom and there is the book, the audio and a movie. Please download that and always focus on where you're going. Enjoy the moment, be grateful for today, and then focus on going forward, right? And I'll be back with chapter two below this. And we'll talk soon. Bye.